Hey, Eric, what are you doing here? I'm buying paint for the carousel deck. So am I. How much did you pay? Well, I got four gallons of paint and three brushes for $92. How about you? Well, I bought three gallons of paint and two brushes, and I paid $68. How much was a gallon of paint? I don't know. I really didn't pay attention. But you know what? We can set up some equations and figure this out. What do you say we go do that? Let's go. All right. OK, Eric, let's figure this out. How much is a gallon of paint than the price of a brush? Well, let me do it on the board. I like to let variables represent the price of the gallon of paint and the paintbrush. So I'm going to let x equal the price of one gallon of paint. And I'm also going to let y represent the price of a paintbrush. OK, now that I've defined my variables, I can set up some equations. This is called a system of equations, where I'll have two equations with two unknown variables. So Dave's price was three gallons of paint and two paintbrushes, and his bill was $68. My bill was for four gallons of paint and three paintbrushes, and it was $92. So here's a system of equations. I've got two equations with two unknown variables. The way I like to solve these is I like to get either the x coefficients the same or the y coefficients the same. And then I can add or subtract vertically to get rid of one of the variables. In this case, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top one by 3 and the bottom one by negative 2 so my y's will cancel. So I multiply the top one by 3, the bottom one by negative 2. That'll make these numbers 6, and it'll, they'll cancel very easily. So that gives me 9x plus 6y is equal to 204. The bottom equation, when I distribute this negative 2, will give me negative 8x minus 6y equals negative 184. As you can see, the coefficient in front of the y's are the same, so they'll cancel very easily. Now, the reason I chose to multiply by a negative 2 was so that they would have opposite signs here, and I can just add to get them to cancel. So let me add like terms going down. 9x and a minus 8x will give me just a 1x. A positive 6y and a negative 6y, they cancel. This is going to be a nice problem. A 204 and a negative 184 will give me 20. So what we've just calculated is that x equals 20. Now, referring back to my let statements, let's see what that means. So we now know a value of x. We know that it's 20. So 20 is the price of a gallon of paint. We're going to use that value to help us calculate the value of the price of a paintbrush. So let's go and use this 20 in either one of the original equations and see what we get for y. I'm going to pick the top equation, and I'm going to replace the x with a 20. That'll give me 3 times 20 plus 2y is equal to 68. The only variable remaining is y, and y stands for the price of a paintbrush. That's 60 plus 2y is equal to 68. And I'm going to subtract this 60 from the right side, actually from both sides. And that gives us 2y is equal to 8. And when I divide both sides by 2, I will get y is equal to 4. So let's recap a little bit. x is equal to 20, which means that a gallon of paint costs $20. y is equal to 4, which means that a paintbrush costs $4. So now we've solved the mystery of how much a gallon of paint and a paintbrush costs.